Hi, I'm Alan Nelson, and welcome to Lead Young Institute, a series designed for 15 to 30-year-olds to become a better boss. In this series, we're going to look at organizational behavior and what you need to lead, whether it's a team, student government, or maybe you're an entrepreneur. I'm going to give you five indicators of natural leadership ability. These talent indicators help you develop yourself as well as identify others with influence potential. Welcome to Lead Young Institute. Historically, we thought that certain people could become leaders and the rest of people couldn't. But in the last two or three hundred years, with the rise of democracy, people have started to believe that, well, anyone can become a leader. Maybe you've heard that from a parent or an educator. But what we've learned the last 10 to 20 years is that actually leaders are both made and born. It's nurture and nature. Genetic research has shown us that anywhere from 30 to 60 percent of a predisposition to lead is inherited, meaning we get it in our genes, just like our hair color, our skin color, or color of our eyes. The bottom line is we're not going to tell you you cannot lead, but we want to show you why it's important to identify leadership talent, to develop it, and then to see it around you. So first of all, let me give you three reasons of why you need to think about leadership talent. First of all, if you see it in yourself, you want to make sure you develop it. It's the same thing as if you're a talented athlete or a talented mathematician or a talented dancer or singer. You want to develop it as early as possible. A second reason to focus on leadership talent is that you want to identify the people around you who has the ability to influence. They can be your ally or they can be your enemy. You want to make sure you follow ethical ones and you don't follow unethical ones. And the third reason to pursue this is, well, when you put together an organization, whether it's a team or whether it's a club or even a school project, you want to make sure that you identify those who have talent and put them in charge of things so that they can lead effectively. We're all familiar with people in charge of organizations and even countries who really don't have a talent for leading, a knack for leading, and that creates a lot, a lot of frustration. So now let me give you five, five indicators of natural leadership talent. I'm going to illustrate these so you can identify it in yourself and you can look for it in others around you. One indicator of leadership talent is they start things. This key symbolizes that because it'll start my car, it gets the motor running. If you have this natural ability to get things going, get people to follow you, it could be something as simple as starting a club at school or a project, or maybe it's an activity during school or after school. That's what we look for because Basically, leaders look for opportunities, they gather people around them, and they are initiating things. They start things and they get them going. A second indicator of leadership talent is the stand. <laughs> I know it's kind of corny, but this stand holds things up. And a person with a predisposition to lead will take a stand. Sometimes it's taking a stand against a bully. Or maybe it's an unfair policy or protocol. But they're willing to stand up even sometimes against other people with more power and more authority because they believe it's the right thing to do. So having that ability and seeing that in others to take a stand for things they think is important is an indicator of leadership talent. A third indicator of leadership talent is represented by these binoculars because these binoculars see something in the distance as if it was close. And those with leadership aptitude have the ability to see into the future and bring it to fruition. They look at what can be, they see the possibilities, and they bring it up close so that people get excited. They're excited to follow them. They're excited to, to join whatever project or event the leader is in charge of. So they see into the future and they bring it into the present. Let me give you a fourth indicator of leadership talent. We're all familiar with GPS, Global Positioning System. Well, this GPS for leadership is a little bit different. It stands for Goal, Position, Strategy. You see, a person with natural leadership 
ability and talent has that ability to see where they want to go. That's the goal, what they want to achieve. And the position is where they are now. But they think strategically. They think, how do I get from where I am now to where I want to be? And then they have the ability to see the big picture and yet break it down into steps and tasks so that they give it to other people. They assign it so people can see how they're going to accomplish the goal, how they're going to arrive at their destination. They think strategically. And a fifth indicator of leadership talent is inspiration. Leaders have this natural ability to motivate us. Maybe not as a rah-rah cheerleader, but still they invoke trust so that people want to follow them and they are willing to do things that they normally will not do. Sometimes it requires motivation to overcome incredible tasks, to work through difficult times, but their ability to gather people, to motivate them and inspire them, allows them to accomplish what they would not be able to do by themselves. So leaders motivate us. So whether you believe that leaders are made or they're born or like me, a combination of both, it kind of doesn't matter. The bottom line is we want you to develop your leadership potential and also identify those around you with leadership talent and ability. We've even provided in the description below an opportunity for you to have someone take an assessment on you. We have one assessment called the NYLI. It's free and someone will take it on you if you're ages 6 to 18. We have another one for ages 19 and above called the New Manager Inventory. Again, that link is below in the description of this video. I hope that you'll subscribe, pass it on to your friends, and we want to provide opportunities that are practical and information that you can use as a leader. In my 30 plus years of studying leadership and being a leader and teaching leadership courses, here's one thing I've learned. If you want to change the world, focus on leaders. But if you want to change leaders, focus on them when they're young. Thanks for watching and remember, lead on.